Okay, brilliant, it started raining. Um, so I picked this up and uh, it's filthy. It's a mess. It was advertised as a rally. It's not a rally. I thought it was a Norman because of this crank set. Um, it's actually an Elswick. It's an Elswick Escort Sport from 1959 and it has been severely changed over the years. It has a three speed from 1980, the wheel set. It has the Norman crank set. It has riser handlebars with a Sturmiatra grip shift. Um, it has a plastic saddle, weird mud guards, different brake calipers. It's been changed a lot. So uh, we're gonna do a little oily rag restoration on it, but first I'm gonna clean it in the rain. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, but this just isn't working. Um, this bike is just too dirty to clean down before I strip it, so uh, yeah, I'm going to strip it down and then clean it. So if we talk about the saddle first, the saddle is a Cell Royal saddle. Um, it's pl very plasticky, like a, either a thick, thick vinyl or a plastic. Um, and it shouldn't be on there. This bike should come with a, I guess a Brooks, um, a leather racer style saddle. Um, the Escort Sports was a bike that was not a clubman level. Um, where's my ratchet? Uh, yeah, it wasn't a clubman level, but it also wasn't just like you yeah, run around town, it's more of a tour level I guess. Uh, so it had a three speed, uh, either a single speed, flip flap. Why haven't I got the right size? Either a single speed, flip flap, hub, or you could have the three speed, Sterny Archer. Um, it actually. I actually bought it because it reminded me of my transports, my rally transports was the 54, there we go, um, and I had that and it was probably the best bike I've like, ever, ever bought. Um, disappointed I sold that, like, it was a really nice bike and I did the first of Royker on it, so this bike should be the same style as that, 3 speed, drop bars. 50s bike. Oh, the chrome's not too bad on this seat post. Um, so we're going to turn it back into that. But it's going to be mainly cleaning on this bike. It's going to be mainly cleaning, but we'll uh, we'll get it done. Is this the original one? Hmm. Sturmy Archer seat post. Uh, but it's definitely not the original saddle. I've got a Brooks one to go back on. When it comes to the brakes, I don't believe they're original either. Um, they look like the style that were found on my 70s, the 70s Wayfarer that I did. Um, whoever's put them on I don't know when they've put them on, but um, yeah, they're just chrome steel. Um, they've replaced the brake levers with some plastic mountain bike style ones. Um, and I believe of this era, it should have still a, st a chrome steel. But more of this style of caliper. Um, this caliper is from the 50s um, and it has, it's just kind of um, a double, well it is a double ended caliper so it has a nipple on both ends. I do have lots of them spare so I'm going to try and make a cable for that and uh, put them on once I've taken all of this dirty junk off. Oh where's my 10 mil? This is also a much later dynamo than um, it would have come with. I mean, I think it might have actually come with a, a dyno hub. 
if it did come with one. Um, so I'm going to take this off because, well, I don't like the dynamos. Um, the mug guard is clearly not original. This should be steel um, or a blue males or blue males. I've actually got some uh, blue males air weights to go on once I've tidied them up. Um, so I'm going to whip the mug guard off and whip the doohickey dynamo off. Now let's guess what size bolts are on everything because uh, they're from different eras. The wheels are relatively close to original. Um, I mean, they're still three speed, which is what it could have come with. Um, but this is an 80s hub. The rims are 26 by 1 and 3 eighths instead of 26 by 1 and 3 quarters. So there's a little change there, um, but they do work and the chrome is in good condition and finding a set of 26 by one and a quarter in a good condition is kind of expensive. Um, so I'm going to reuse these rims, these wheels, after cleaning everything up. I have no idea why there's a stack of three washers on here. Um, and I'm going to sort the routing out as well because this has got the, the cables routed along the um, chain stays whereas it should as indicated by the guide pulley be routed along the top tube so when someone's put the grip shift on which it shouldn't have they've also changed the routing for some reason, but left the pulley on. Um, I do have an original shifter, so uh, I can go on. Now, after seeing the bike advertised as a rally um, and going cheap, obviously, the thing that piqued my, piqued my interest was the crank set because this isn't rally, this is Norman, and you can see the little soldiers on there. And this crank set is, um, yeah, it's pretty rare. So I figured the seller had mistaken the uh, Norman for a rally. I don't know why, because it would have said Norman on the badges. Um, it also has Norman pedals, but this has definitely been put on at some stage because, uh, well, both arms are loose. They all move independently of each other. So they should be pretty easy to get off. Um, the bottom bracket I think is a little loose as well but the arms are definitely the arms definitely wobble side to side. So these are going to be touch wood easy to get off. I should I reckon just be able to knock them straight out and pull them off. But it will be a lot better to uh, work with once I get these off and clean up. Um, I am going to replace them. It should have some, uh, I believe the style is a C34, like a Williams style. Um, I don't have one of those spare, but I do have something similar-ish. Um, it's a later style. Yeah, there you go. Straight through. And now I need the punch. I use the screwdriver. There you go. So yeah, these cranks are going to be, I don't know, they'll either go into a collection because they are rare or um, I'll sell them. But uh, yeah, that's off now. The other side will come off just as easy and then we can uh, carry on cleaning everything up. It's actually got some uh, okay lugs on here, like cutaway lugs of the time. So it's a similar story on the front. Um, we've got a replacement wheel 
from the 80s which matches the rear then it goes up to the brake caliper which is again matches the one that was on there but I'm pretty sure isn't original and the mudguard is different to the rear but I still don't think that is original to the bike um, at least we've still got the Elswick badge on and then you go up a bit further and you've got the uh, riser bars so these are the brake so these are the brake levers that are on there um, I'm pretty sure they are mountain bike brake levers I haven't seen a brand on there just yet so I don't know uh, they're coming off bars are coming off hey bell works, bell might stay um, whoops the wheel just knocks you but if you go around to the other side we've got a Sturmy Archer twist shift which actually clicks so I might keep this and put that on another bike um, we'll soon see how original it is and how it works because it looks like it's been glued the grips are glued on anyway so um, yeah all this is coming off uh, stem staying and then I'm going to put some drop bars on here put some proper brake levers on there and uh, get it back to original or as close to as possible okay uh, after a big fight with those bars because of uh, glued on grips, uh, everything is stripped. Still, got obviously, obviously, uh, uh, still, obviously, got to take the stem out so I can do the headset and everything. But I'm going to clean it up as it is here. Uh, really give the frame a good scrub. See what state it's in. Maybe polish up a few parts. Um, that was a lot of cleaning. I've just spent hours, hours with a uh, degreaser, with some muck off, with a little toothbrush, just scrubbing everywhere. And then use some tea cuts all over the frame, followed by some uh, Auto Glim Ultra Deep Shine polish. But it was worth it. It looks amazing now. I mean, as you can see, there's parts here where there is no paint. Um, there's going to be lots of scuffs over the frame, which I'll show you in a second. Um, but it's it's the <laughs> on this frame, it's the character. Um, I would love, absolutely love to pour the money into this and do a complete restoration. But for the return on it, um, like if I decided to sell it, I, it, I don't think it would be worth it. So uh, leaving the character is what I like to do with this uh, you could touch it up as well but getting the paint to match might be quite difficult and um, for me personally having areas which are clearly touched up is just as much a, an eyesore in inverted commas as a, a rust patch would be so we've got the spots around obviously where the uh, brakes have worn and then that goes down the chain stays a little bit. The drop pads are bound to have wear, uh, you can't avoid that. But um, I think a cool little detail on these dropouts is the little um, stopper, I guess you call it, at the front. Um, so the axle will slide up and in. The fronts also have the same, uh, but instead the stopper is at the back, it's just a slightly longer section. We've got the decals on the down tube still, uh, that is just a badge for the tubing but then if we go further down so we've also got the decal here which is again the Elswick emblem um, super faded obviously but you can still just about make it out there's Elswick to cross the top um, but I'm really impressed with how this frame is cleaned up really impressed so I've got the nice cutaway looks and the uh, two-tone paint, the deep red or flamboyant red, and the uh, I guess it would have been white, but now it's kind of a cream. But further down, if I can undo, we have got this large section of wear, which all goes all the way down, and it does interrupt the sport decal. And um, bit of a shame, but it's not rusted, 
amazingly. So I'm just going to protect it and uh, work with it. Nice L switch badge on the uh, head tube. Um, I'm going to get some metal polish on that and see if it will clean up because it should have a seahorse on it, which you can just about make out. But what I found really nice about this bike is this fork crown. This fork crown looks amazing. Um, I think the forks are completely chromed, but this is a one smooth section on top with the legs, I guess, pressed in because um, there's a bit of a seam around there. But they look amazing, like so smooth, and the design of them for uh, for the year that it is, like '59, looks amazing. They, they have to be original. That is such a good quality part of this frame. And that's the top tube. Um, <laughs> you can't really see on the camera. Well, you can. It is very battered, um, chipped. Uh, there is a small L switch decal there, which should be the crest, but it's worn off. And this is where the Sturmy Archer band sits. Um, so that's going to go back on. Um, the rest of this I am just going to leave, like that is too much to touch up. Um, and it's the... Well it shows the life of the bike doesn't it? Um, so, well now I'm just going to... I need to service the bottom bracket, uh, service the headset and we can actually just start assembling the bike. Um, it should be a relatively simple build because it's um, Sturmy Archer.